Is ChatGPT free to use? Yes, ChatGPT offers free access to its basic features. So if you go to ChatGPT.com, you can begin asking ChatGPT anything you want, begin using it without even creating an account. So here, for example, if I ask it to write a short story, ChatGPT is replying, and it's using a very powerful model under the hood, ChatGPT 4.0 Mini, which in my personal experience works a ton better than the previous ChatGPT 3.5. And because of this, now anyone can start interacting and using ChatGPT without any initial cost or sign up. So you can try it for yourself, try it for your use cases and see if it makes sense to sign up for a free account or eventually upgrade to a paid plan. Obviously the free plan has limitations just like any other product. So here I'm on the ChatGPT pricing page. On the personal side, you have two options, free or plus. So the free plan includes GPT 4.0 mini and limited access to GPT 4.0 and also limited access to advanced data analysis, file uploads, multimodal capabilities such as vision, web browsing or searching the internet and also custom GPT. In my opinion, it's a generous plan in the sense that you get access to GPT 4.0 mini, which is quite powerful and more than enough for most use cases, but access is limited when it comes to these other features. Now, the plus plan is 20 bucks per month. You get early access to new features such as the new model O1 preview and O1 mini that dropped yesterday, which performs really well for complex reasoning tasks like math and coding. You also get access to other models like GPT 4.0, up to five times more messages for GPT 4.0, access to advanced data analysis, file uploads, vision, and web browsing. In my opinion, the most important things here are web browsing and file uploads because I'll often have ChatGPT search the internet and make sure the information it's providing me is accurate and up to date. It also includes image generation and being able to use an unlimited number of custom GPT. Now, if you're looking to use ChatGPT for your workplace or business, there's a team plan which costs 25 per person per month and includes higher limits for all of the features as well as creating and sharing GPTs just within your team as well as an admin console for for managing the workspace and your team's data is excluded from training by default, which is an important concern for businesses. Now, if you're asking what I personally subscribe to, I subscribe to the plus USD 20 per month. I really like being able to do advanced data analysis, file uploads and web browsing. I think out of everything listed here, those are the top three features in addition to access to GPT 4.0. For your needs though, I would consider how frequently you're using ChatGPT or other models. If you're using ChatGPT frequently almost every day for important tasks related to work, whether that's research, content creation, data analysis, whatever it is. I think it's well worth it. It's the cost of a Netflix subscription or four coffees per month. And the amount of time it saves and the productivity boost from using ChatGPT, how it helps you get unstuck by constantly brainstorming ideas and being your collaborative partner. I think it's well worth it for that price point. But if you're not sure yet about shelling out 20 bucks per month, then stick to the free plan until you've incorporated use of AI more regularly. Again, you still get access to really high quality models such as GPT 4.0 mini and you can jump back and forth between ChatGPT and other providers. For example, perplexity.ai also offers a free plan where you get unlimited quick searches and five pro searches per day. Anthropic Claude also offers a free plan where you can talk to Claude on the web, iOS, and Android and limited access to Claude 3.5 Sonnet.